Maury, did you know that that baby boy, that man is not the father? Maury, did you know that baby boy, his mother had no daughters? Did you know that that baby boy, something, something hit that guy that the child support delivered? is to be delivered by you. Um, I don't know why I did that, but let's go next circuit. <sighs> um, I'm, these cutscenes are getting a little bit repetitive. It looks kind of, you know, dangerous. I mean, what if he falls? I mean, like that part where he's doing crunches, um... At least they have different, like, versions where he's running in front of, like, that, uh, a Statue of Liberty. I can't believe it took me that long to come up with the name of that, but, um, let's, we have Piston Honda, I'm gonna call him that. I'm not gonna call him Piston Hondo. Oh, he bowed and he looked up. That's actually kind of considered, I think in Japan it's actually considered, like, disrespectful there, I think. I've been told. Meaning he's actually being quite the, you know, quite the jerk, I guess. And, and but then again, you know, I guess he's a bit of an insufferable genius because he's able to, like, catch a katana <laughs> and run with, like, like, at the same speed as a train. Um, that's a bit... Those are photoshopped. I'm, I'm going to say those are photoshopped considering that he doesn't, you know... By the way... Don't try and hit him again when he's, you know... Um... Next time, don't try to hit him while he's... Uh, you know, like, bowing. Because he'll be looking at you, and he will. I'm not quite sure to get stars on this guy, actually. I mean, that's for... I'll show you how in exhibition. Cause I'll, like by the time I show you is this fight in exhibition, I'll let you know if you need to do a star punch. How do you get a star punch? But One, two, three. Come on, come on. Yeah. um, he does have that little annoying maneuver where he will crouch down, like there when he you know, but he'll shake his fist before. He actually punches. That's how you know he's about to punch. He'll shake. He'll like shake his fist. So it's not that difficult. By the way, the the attack where he like blink, where he raises his eyebrows before he hits you. If you block that instead of dodging it, you'll actually be able to stun him. Like if you just dodge that, you won't stun him. But if you block it, you will stun him. So a bit different than most opponents in the game, because most opponents in the game seem to encourage dodging instead of blocking. <sighs> Especially since it makes you more tired. Because if you notice that heart at the top of the screen, um, it has amount, like it's the amount of times you can block basically, and the number also goes down if you get hit. So, and it replenishes when you dodge. You'll turn pink if you can't, you know. Like if you see me turn pink, that's when I can't punch. Um, if you get to, and you need to dodge to replenish that meter. So if you ever seen me turn pink and wondered what's happening, now you know. And contrary to popular belief, knowing is only about two thirds. Experts say knowing is only about uh, uh, two thirds the battle instead of half. So you know, the more you know. Shake his fist, punches, uppercut. Well, I guess more of an uppercut, but you know. <sighs> Um, mashing the minus button. It's that time to mash it. Hey, son. It's time to say sayonara. This sucker's overheating. Let's send him to the scrap. Send him to the scrapyard. Um, what's the pun there? <laughs> Is he telling me to send him into a, like, a dump? Like, does he want me to impoverish him? That's a bit mean. <laughs> that, whoa, that was actually, I mean... Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't punch him when he's, you know, doing that bow thing. When he's bowing. 
that's actually a bad idea. Um, what else do I have to say about this guy? Um, he's certainly not, um, what do I say about this guy? <laughs> um, I like his outfit. <laughs> Actually, the weird thing is, I noticed that he's, both him and Great Tiger are shown, you know, uh, like they dre they're, they dressed in like pretty much almost all white. Um, just a little bit. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> then again, there's also the racial implications. I guess. I don't know. Um, it's, like I don't know what that would actually imply, but whatever. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose you could consider that wrong. <laughs> um, actually, I kind of like the uh, overblown reactions this guy has to some of the attacks. Like, you know, in terms of, like, he's practically screaming in this fight sometimes. I, I seem to be doing a lot worse to these opponents than I usually do, and it's kind of affecting... I hope I can defeat him in this round, because I do not want to take him into a third round. Oh, yes, I... I that was a bit of a delayed rea or I guess you could say it was a bit of a preemptive reaction, because I was about to land the last punch, but... You know. The day is saved. From Piston Honda. He is about to take over the world, I guess. I don't know. I just sat randomly said the day is saved. <laughs> Um, I've been saying um a lot, and grunting, you know, it's such master, that's such great commentary, I guess. Bear hugger, he has a, he has a two gone now, I, I see. Um, and it actually hides a squirrel, believe it or not. I have no idea what they were going for with that, but okay. You'll see. You actually have to get stars now to win, or I guess you kind of have to. Um. <laughs> kind of have to land stars because you know you can stun him, but it, you only get like one extra punch, so. Oh yikes! I, I I made a bit of a mistake there. If a squirrel appears un, under his hat, that means he will be. Uh, that means he will, you know, delay his punch a bit. Am I? If, if you have three punches, I know he goes down. Three star punches, three stars, I mean. He'll go down in one hit, so I generally go for that. But sometimes, I'm not very good at timing these, so... He's actually a pretty difficult opponent, I must admit. Um, for me, at least. He's a fairly, diff fairly difficult opponent. And title defense. Yikes. Oh, sometimes when he does a bear hug, instead of uh, doing it normally... Um, if he does... If he says hat trip, um, and raises, like, the squirrel in his head. I was about to call it a guinea pig. 
I should probably mention that when he when he's about to do a bear hug, but uh, a squirrel ends up appearing. He'll he won't actually do it. It'll and you can actually get a star if you punch him in the face when that happens. Basically, if you punch him in the face whenever a squirrel is like popping out of his head, and I don't know how legal that is for boxing, but yeah, you'll actually get a star for some reason. I guess this game encourages animal abuse. I think Doc Lewis won in. He has some dialogue that talks about um, how he hates squirrels, so I guess... I guess, you know, who cares if they're... Also, um, if you land a star punch while uh, he says hat trip, he'll get knocked down instantly. Even if it's just... I should have done that, and I really messed up there. I hope I don't get, you know, knocked out. Because remember, it, throughout the entire course of the fight, all three rounds, you can only get knocked down three times. Um, your third time, actually, if you get knocked down, you usually get knocked out. Unless you really start mashing the one and two buttons, you might come back. I really need to start... Doing, giving him star punches when he actually, you know, is stunned, because that way I actually get to do a bunch of extra punches, but... Um, yeah, this, this is actually a really difficult fight for me. Um, even, no matter what, I always have trouble timing. I guess I just gotta trust myself. Really concentrating here. Alright then. I'm... I think I'm good here. As you can see, I knocked him out down in one hit just with those three stars, so... Um, I'm making progress at this point, I guess you could say. Um, there are many ways to chocolate. Uh, I don't get the joke, Doc Lewis. I'm just saying <laughs> right now. I don't get the joke. I don't think it exists, Doc Lewis. Um... So yeah, it seems I'm getting close. I don't, I don't see why my mastering of the minus button didn't work in between rounds two and three. But whatever, I, I still have quite a bit left, so... I accidentally punched him in the stomach there, uh, in the middle of that, if you noticed. Um, I think this ending, like that little scene where he's, you know, knocks the, where he knocks the squirrel right out of his head, I think that scene is, no matter what happens, will always be shown when you knock him out, because sometimes they don't show the animation when you knock him out, for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, but here they did, which is, I mean, no matter what happens, it does, so it's pretty cool, in my opinion. My humble opinion. Because my opinions are humble, people. Remember that. That's a life lesson. My opinions are always humble. Humbler than yours, in fact. Humbler. And we have... He's... Great Tiger was waving his arms there for a second. But title bout. Yes. Um, the Great Tiger. For some reason, I want to call him The Great Tiger. Which actually makes kind of sense. He doesn't seem to be very tigery, aside from his pants. And in the original Super Punch Out on the uh, arcades, he didn't have those, you know, long tiger pants. He just had, he had sort of shorts. Also, he seems to be dressed in all white here for some reason, kind of like Piston Hondo. Honda, I mean, not calling him Hondo. Ugh. Don't want. He is not Hondo. He is Honda in my mind. That is a much better name than Hondo. But great tiger. Um, I 
I think if you block the attack where he, you know... I just want to know if his jewel, if the emerald in his head uh, is blue, dodge to the right. If it's a uh, red, green, dodge to the left. Sorry, if it's if it's blue, dodge to the right. Um, yeah, dodge to the right. If it's green, dodge to the left. That's my advice. This move can actually get me a bit. It can sometimes get me a bit. For some reason. And I sh I actually did it correctly until that last part, which is usually the part I never mess up. The part where he uh, starts spinning wildly. You just duck to avoid that. And I failed. Horribly. Yeah, if it's green, you dodge to the left. If it glows... Um... Red, you just dodge anywhere. If it glows blue, you dodge to the right. And if it's white, you duck. Remember all that. If it's red, you can dodge or block any way. If it's white, you duck. If it's blue, dodge to the right. If it's green, dodge to the left. Even then, I usually don't need the to notice the colors, to know which way I'm supposed to not duck, or not dodge, but I usually just know um, by his movements, but, you know, it helps to know the colors, I guess. Yeah. Just making sure everything's plugged in. Um, if, uh, just to narrate all my, you know... I'll narrate all my actions. The actions you can't see. See if I succeed this time. Nope. So I won't get to punch him as much in this. Uh, so I was at work yesterday. Uh, what was I about to say about my work? I was going to give you a work story. But... Um... I can't remember what I was going to say. Right, left, right. Sorry. Right, right, left, right. Okay, right. I should have gotten a star. Uh, I messed up when I was about to say the directions was gonna dodge in. All right then, looking closely, concentrating. Nope. nab. That was not very good of me. For some reason, I used to be able to do that perfectly each time. But now, I just get too nervous. <laughs> I mess up every time. It's, you know, weird. Paradoxical. Sad, even. So it's, I'm going right, right, left, and then right. Um, how much more time? Only 22 seconds! Uh, uh, and 22 seconds in... This game isn't actually 22 seconds in real life. Like, it counts them faster in the game than it than they should. So. I guess what we see is a sped-up version of what actually happens. So I guess these really exaggerated maneuvers are even more exaggerated to, to like, this universe. Unless my theory of Little Mac, if these are just being noticed by Little Mac, would hold true. Which, I think that makes it more likely. My theory more likely. Cause if this is like a sped up version of what's actually happening. Third round, we are here to stay. We're here, we're, you know, gonna do this. I wanna do it right for once. Right. 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 Duck, yes! I was able to do it! 
I am proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. That's my revenge on Great Tiger for all this hell he put me through. And he's getting his revenge on me for all the hell I've put him through, I guess, because I didn't remember that very well. But I knocked him out down anyway. Anyway, um, duck, right, right, left, okay, so, duck, right, right, left, I usually don't need to say that to myself, but, for some reason I do now, um, and even, as, even though it's pretty cliche, I blame it on the let's play curse, okay, let's see if I can get another perfect one, nope, I was able to get one, I guess, that's the mo most I could hope for. I just get nervous whenever that happens for some reason. I just start getting nervous and then I did it wrong. I guess because you're... I don't know, for some reason, like... I mean, I, I always do end up dodging in one direction, but it's oftentimes not in the correct direction. This might have to, I might have to be getting... I might have to get, like, a win by decision. I've only had to get knocked down once, so sh that he should, the ref should give it to me. Hell, since he has magic powers, I think it's a bit of an unsta unfair advantage, so he has to give it to me. Unless I actually end up knocking him out. Yeah. Well, at least, I guess I don't have to. I was very close to making a loss, but uh, making it by decision. I probably would have won by decision anyway. And I kind of deserve it, since he has to, like, freaking magical powers. They should make it so that every time you get, it, it goes to a decision, you win. So that, you know, it'll, um, so we're gonna fight, uh, the previous champion in Minor Circuit in the next episode. See you there.